Hello again and welcome to Joystick Ninja. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a cart that can climb and descend walls vertically in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It can even crawl upside down without Link falling off the vehicle. That's why I call it the Gimbal Crawler. A gimbal is a gyroscopic mechanism that allows you to drive it in any orientation without you getting thrown off the steering stick. This vehicle is based on the original creation by the player Fantastic Pound 1698. You can check the link in the description below. Without further delay, let's get right to it. The first step is to prepare the materials. As you can see, there are some parts that we don't normally get from Zonai device dispensers. We will talk about how to get those in a moment. Don't worry, because obtaining them is simple and requires just a few rupees. First, we need four large wheels, one steering stick, one stabilizer, and two shock emitters. Next, we need some secret parts that you don't normally obtain in your playthrough, like this yellow platform. This floating board is lightweight and non-conductive. You have to steal it from the John Sao Shrine at the Lanairu Wetlands. You can get it by fusing it to a weapon or shield while you're inside the shrine. Just make sure you bring at least one weapon or shield that has nothing fused to it yet. Then, you need to get four propellers and two motors. Go to the Gamimic Shrine at the Rist Peninsula and steal them. Like the floating board, you need to fuse them to weapons or shields, so you need to bring at least six with you. Don't worry if the shrine has only one propeller and one motor initially, since they will spawn right away after you get them. Lastly, you need three normal cartwheels that you can typically find near stables. Now that you have done the preparations, you might be wondering how to use the parts you've fused to your weapons and shields. Just look for the young Goron named Pelison in Tire Town. He will break off fused materials for a small fee of 20 rupees. Don't worry because you'll be able to keep both weapons and materials after the process. And by the way, if you like to see more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and gaming videos like this one, please subscribe to my channel. Now let's get building. First, we construct the cart by attaching four big wheels to the floating board. Just make sure they are properly balanced and aligned. Next, we build a propeller mechanism by stacking two propellers together and attaching them to a motor. We will need two of this mechanism. When done, grab one and tilt it 45 degrees backward and attach them to the front center of the cart. Grab the other one and attach it to the rear center. What matters most here is that the fans should be pointing upward and toward the rear of the vehicle. After that, grab those two shock emitters and attach them close to the motors. Shock emitters are required since motors don't power up directly like regular Zonai devices. And with that, we are done with the cart. It's time to move on and create the platform that can swivel in all directions while you are driving it. To build the gimbal platform, grab one wheel and attach it 45 degrees with respect to the rear motor. I will call this wheel A. The other two wheels must be connected to make a number 8 or infinity shape like this one. Grab them and stick one end perpendicularly to the axle of wheel A. So now, there should be one wheel sticking out. Let's call this wheel B. Grab the steering stick orient it facing the front of the cart, and attach its base to the axle of wheel B. Finally, stick the stabilizer underneath the steering stick, and you're done. The gimbal crawler is operational. As you can see here in this demonstration, the gimbal crawler handles climbing exceptionally well, and the gyroscopic platform works at any angle. The propellers are a bit large because we stack them, but they don't get in the way. The propellers provide enough force to keep the vehicle from falling from any surface, and they also provide the forward push. It is not the fastest vehicle nor the most efficient, but it's fun to build and it gets the job done. And that's it for now. Please subscribe for more Tears of the Kingdom and gaming videos. This is Joystick Ninja. And as always, thank you for watching.